today I am actually dropping off some stuff at the thrift store and I thought I might just check out whether they have some good stuff. The store that I'm going to is kind of hit or miss. Sometimes I find really good gems there. Other times there is nothing. So let's hope today is more of a hit than a miss. currently trying to learn more about Dutch ceramics and so I look at a lot of pieces even though they're not my style sometimes. This Maastricht plate was in a pretty bad shape though. This set was so peculiar. There were five cups and a coffee or teapot and they were all horn shaped. So weird. I've never seen anything like it before. If anyone knows anything about these, please let me know. If this had been made of actual brass, I would have picked it up for sure. I was really intrigued by this canoe shaped carved boat with a person in it. It was kind of creepy, but I was really wondering what it was. This lidded bowl, I quite liked. It is Asian, but I don't know a lot about Asian ceramics <laughs> at all, so I didn't pick it up. This brass kettle is also pretty cool, but it was soldered in quite a few places, and I don't know whether it would still hold liquid really well, and so I left it. And here it is. This was a set of Polish pottery they sold and everything together was 10 euros I believe. This big dish had a huge chip though and another canister was missing a lid. My mom used to have Polish pottery and I know that blue and white are the most desirable and that is why I was hesitant buying this set. I literally looked at it for almost 10 minutes trying to decide whether to buy it or not. Ultimately I did end up putting it back and took the pieces back out of the card. Maybe, maybe it was a mistake. I'm not so sure. Behind these really cool enamel pots was this little piece of art of a birch tree which I really liked. It looked like an original signed watercolor but I am not allowed to buy any art until I hang up all of mine in the new house which I still haven't done. I really need to get to that. This made in India brass dish was quite cute but I would like to pick up something slightly bigger and I didn't buy this one. I did really love the enamel tulips though. Tulips are my favorite flowers and I guess I picked the right country to live in. I was curious about this ceramic tree and thought I had found something amazing and then I turned around and um, I realized it was from a local kitchen store so uh, never mind. Back on the shelf it goes. I also spotted this set of enamel bowls, which I'm still on the lookout for, but I'm not a fan of those beige and brown ones. I'm really looking for the white ones. They have a small room full of glass and crystal, and this little dish was pretty cool and it was so heavy. I'm not much of a crystal person, but this little punch bowl set with a bowl and matching little cups was just so cute. I'm still looking for a candelabra, but this one had some kind of enamel which made it look kind of odd. I do think it was modern and not vintage. I spotted this frozen glass and considered buying this for my kids, but I would need two of these because they would probably be waging war against each other as to like who gets a drink out of the Elsa glass. I 
really like this bowl. It looked to be hand painted and if this had been at least a pair, I would have totally picked it up. And I also like this teacup and saucer, really 1970s and from East Germany. However, I also would have loved to buy at least two of these, but there was only one. Watching this bag, I really regret not picking up this awesome koi fish cup and saucer. There were four cups and only two saucers and I think I kind of didn't get it just because two of the saucers were missing. Um, yeah, major regrets. I quite like this set of salt and pepper shakers. I wasn't sure whether they were vintage. I feel like they were, but not that old. Then there was also this whole salt and pepper shaker set with a tray and um, a little dish that still had uh, salt in it, which was kind of gross. <laughs> I didn't know the language on there, so I kind of was curious and I wanted to check where they were from. I was guessing Czech Republic or Poland and I was right, they were marked Czechoslovakia. These plates were interesting and I was considering getting these but I still have some plates I need to list and sell first. They were made in Italy though. I also like this speckled dinner plate, likely modern but if they had had more I would have picked them up for ourselves. I really like the lid of this bowl but I feel like the lid and um, bowl are not a match. They looked too different. I would have loved to find the matching bowl to that stunning lid. Brown butter dishes look always so cool and kind of extra, but um, I don't have time to make my butter round, to be honest. Still, I really like the look of them. I'm actually at another store right now, and that is a store I've taken you to quite a few times. This store is the largest thrift store in our whole province. It's quite big. They also have a lot of really cool upcycling things there. But what I'm actually going to do right now, especially upstairs, they have this kind of um, whole floor where you can kind of rent like a little like booths and stalls so people sell their own stuff. A lot of times it's modern stuff, but I'm just going to check whether there is some vintage or some really cool ceramic. This is still the thrift store part, but I noticed this amazing school map of Denmark right when coming in. They were asking 35 euros, which is a very good price because these sell for so much online. Then I went upstairs and one of the first things I spotted was orange. It was like the 70s were calling me. Obviously, I had to check out this booth and patiently wait at my turn because a couple of other people were already there. They had a few opaline vases for sale. This light blue one looked really special. I feel like it might have been French, but it had a huge piece broken out. I feel like that happened in the booth itself and I felt pretty bad for the seller. Also a seagull salt shaker. <laughs> Too bad the pepper shaker was missing. This thing was so cool. I grabbed this planter from the shelf and they were asking 25 euros for it, which I felt was a lot because it looked like something on the side had been broken off. This vase looked cool from a distance, but it had a modern sticker on the bottom. I was thinking about getting this for Bella, but I did decide to not buy it because we have a ton of memory games already at our house. Also, Naomi would be all over this cat plate. Then I spotted another vintage booth and this amazing kids chair. I don't have a use for it in my home, but it was amazing. As was this vintage ceramic bunt cake tin. This would look so, so good on a kitchen shelf. I spotted something in the corner and first I had to remove this <laughs> gigantic teddy bear. Then I shortly got distracted by this cool umbrella stand, but I finally managed to grab this planter. I thought it might be good for my fiddly fig, but it was the same size as my current planter. Such a bummer. Then I 
panicked and I uh, realized that I had left my purse on the floor in front of the booth. Oh my gosh. I hope my husband won't ever watch this. Um, back to the vintage. Those ceiling lights are so cool. I should probably go back and get one to replace the ugly one we have in our rental bathroom. Also, this vase looks interesting, but it was too beaten up. This stand also had quite some vintage, and the first thing I noticed was this vase on the top shelf, but then I realized it wasn't a vase, but some kind of watering can or pitcher. You don't have to be At first I thought, oh, what is this little interesting thing? A clarinet stand, it seems, which I should have known because I used to play in an orchestra back in high school. Not the clarinet though. To see that you're a good man. This soup bowl set was so so good. Look at these colors. They were chipped though, which was such a bummer. When the wind blows Then I noticed these dishes and I was like, oh hi, West Germany. I miss thrifting in Germany so much. Anyway, I picked up a few of these, which ones I will show you later in the haul portion. Going back. And this horse wall plaque, isn't it the coolest thing? I find it so so hard here to find good wall tiles at thrift stores and I've never found any cool ones here that were also affordable. So that is why this one obviously had to go into my cart. Quite the business. This booth was very nicely decorated. Watching this back, these hands would have made an amazing planter. And these ceramic kitchen utensils would look so nice in a farmhouse kitchen. In my kitchen, they would not even last for a week. I thought that was wall art, but it's a tray. If this had been wall art, I would have picked it up. Never mind that I said like five minutes ago that I don't buy any wall art right now, but for this I would have made an exception. These mid-century elephant plant scents are so cool. They're asking 65 euros, which is a pretty good price because they sell for a ton on Etsy, but I am too scared to ship this gigantic thing. I did decide to take a quick peek at the actual thrift store downstairs. I like their sections a lot. This one here is the corner where they only sell vintage metals like all their copper and brass. I did head to the kitchen corner because I'm looking for enamel but this French dish was also quite nice. Made by Arco Paul and the yellow is really pretty. On to the enamel. I was checking out the bowls to see whether they were in good condition. Oh gosh, excuse the hair. These green ones caught my eye. However, I did not dig the vegetables on them. If they had been plain, just white, I would have gotten the whole set. This is some of the upcycled art they're selling here. I especially like the smaller kind of round sculpture in the back. This upcycled desk was so cute. It doesn't match my home decor style at all, but the price of 85 euros was very, very fair for this. And this tea light holder had a modern sticker on the bottom, so that's a pass. I felt like the shelves were a little empty that day though, usually they're quite packed. I found a little trinket box by this like 
maker at another thrift store recently, but so far I haven't been able to find out anything about this brand. These bookends were so adorable. Even though I just bought a pair for Naomi, I just couldn't pass these up because I know she would love them. And she does. I didn't get a ton of stuff, to be honest, at this thrift store, but I just love going thrifting again. I hadn't gone in almost a month and I was like feeling the shakies to go out again. At the first store, I didn't pick up anything as you saw in the video. I was really debating whether or not I should get that Polish pottery. I walked by that like literally three times kind of looking at should I get it or not. So far, I'm not feeling any big regrets yet. Maybe someone's gonna leave a comment and be like, are you stupid? Why didn't you pick that up? And maybe, maybe, maybe then I'll feel some regret. I'm just very picky with what I'm picking up right now because I still have like a whole room of stuff to list. As for what I picked up in the other shop, I did show a few clips, so I'm pretty sure you saw almost everything, maybe everything that I picked up. The first set is this, or the first piece is this set, I'd have to say, of 1970s West Germany serving bowls. So you have a very small bowl, a medium one in here, and the big one. And they have this really interesting pattern of this kind of circle with a dot in it and the circle is very rough and it has this very fat lava feeling so that is so cool and they had some other dishes there as well but i didn't pick up the whole set i like the bowls the most these ones are just marked with a number and a letter so i still have to figure out what the maker of this these bowls is the second item i picked up just gonna put this on my dining room table which is right next to me is this horse wall plaque i don't know what you would call this like help me out english uh, native speakers because it's not my first language um a horse plaque it's not a tile that is for sure and what i find interesting about this is that this is actually unmarked you can see here the bare back there is no markings on it whatsoever which i found to be very curious but i thought that this was just the coolest thing i love a horse it's so cool i'm not a horse person at all but i just think that this is so cool maybe just how it's like this 3d relief and the colors and everything just blends so well together and yeah if i showed this to naomi she probably want to keep this because she is in her horse phase now naomi's my six-year-old daughter she um would be all over this speaking of horses and my kid i spotted these these bookends these vintage bookends of horses i actually just picked up bookends for her about like a month or two ago and there were two vintage cats they were also white and technically she doesn't need any bookends but i saw these and since she is in her major horse phase and loving all things horse right now i got them for her because they were 20 cents a piece like how's that even possible i think it is because the ears are chipped um, but that is not a big problem. I can just get some acrylic paint and put that on top and they're going to be looking as good as new. If you watched my thrift wishlist video, which I posted a few weeks ago, you will know that I put enamel bowls on there and I found one, a small one. Uh, but I very slowly want to kind of phase out a lot of my plastic bowls. And these ones are cute. I think they're also cute for serving because I don't have really a lot of serving bowls and they don't break when you drop them, which is good for my kids. Uh, this one is 18 centimeters. It is made in China. I paid 125 for this. This is actually in really good condition. A lot of the enamel bowls that I see are really, really rusty, especially on the bottom, also the inside, like pretty much everywhere. And this one is still in pretty good shape. It has a couple of dents on here, but it's not really rusted. If you like this video, make sure to watch these ones here on the side, especially if you love thrifting and secondhand finds. I do post in a video about that every single week. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you do, because then you will not miss any other of my videos. I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day. Bye.